All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Free Rent, Season, season one, 1, Episode 9. nine. Oh it's boy. It's time. Yeah. It's, it's time. Time for some oh. smiting of demons, oh or animated God. suits of armor, and just demons. Casual, just blah, yep. blah, blah. And just being like, yeah. No, I just went to go take care of the army, because, mm -hmm. you know, it's, yeah. they're That's nothing. what makes the most sense. I'm, yeah, I'm it's the most direct Perfectly, method, you know? suitably capable. Shortest distance between two points, straight line. And it also keeps things with uh, Fern and Stark uh, stakes wise pretty high because yep. the blood mm -hmm. from Lugner is still on them. Right. He knows where they are. Mm -hmm. he can follow them. And it's a very scary thing in that he just got probably the tiniest speck of it on them. You can barely even see it. And it's just. Sure. He's yep. good. He's good. Because they had that standoff and Fern was able to kick his ass with the spell. But, you mm -hmm. know, if he gets the jump on them. Yeah, that'd be bad. And their main objective was to get Graf, which they did, which mm -hmm. means they don't have the key to the barrier. Nope. And then they can then separate him from them, and they'll be uh, much, much better off. Yeah. Um, I do love the idea yeah. that, like, maybe they end up getting the barrier down, and they're like, ha-ha, we've won. <laughs> Where's the army? Uh, Aura? Aura? Master? <laughs> Aura? Uh, I give the signal. It's time to attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Please no! <laughs> Except all these animated armors or what have you are, are going to be really interesting to see how they fight or just yeah. end up being, you know, fodder for right. the uh, the two mages to go to war here. Exactly. Um, I'm also curious to see what Aura's abilities are because she's probably going to put up a fight, you know, mm -hmm. and it's going to be a lot better than. Uh, Mr. Drat, I mean a draught. Yeah, as, as, as it would that be. that that didn't go too great. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But y'all, yeah. without further ado, let's get into this. <laughs> Just the Slayer. Yep. yep. Oh shit, and if he's resting here. Yep, yep, that's exactly Fuck. what I was thinking too, because if they got blood on them, you know. Yeah, he'll know where he is. Yep. That moment when the NPC with 11 HP is like, thank you, I'll live now because of this. It's like, mmm. This <laughs> He's like, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, that Freerin, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. The hero being, you know, mm -hmm. just a capitalized hero. There was one that had all the statues, you know. Yeah, exactly. Right. Aura. Wait, Freeran, you went down to ground? See, that's the best way to line up her laser for the, the suits of armor. Ah, uh, the geometry is better. Yeah. yeah. So uncivilized. Bruh, she gains AC based on her intelligence modifier, and that in and of itself is a 24, you know? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but I'm not a human, am I? Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. It's going to take me 10 seconds. Mmm, the pendants are different. Yeah. Interesting. Mmm, they're from people that... <sighs> I was just going to break your army, but now <laughs> I have to kill you. You don't realize 
You were on parole until now. Oh. Whoa, that's... that's a bit terrifying. Oh, okay, no, never mind, we don't have to worry. Oh. But with immortality, that would be inevitable that you would be able to rule everything, you know? Hmm. Well, uh, about yeah. that. <laughs> because she always knew. Don't try that on Freeran. Ah. Like our boy. Ah. This is the armor that she recognized. Hmm. Yep. Kill him. Yep. Never watched Fate. You know how they dealt with Lancer? I haven't even started casting yet, girl. Stop yeah, bragging. Like, <laughs> I haven't cast Your one posturing spell. is boring. Just dispel magic. Yeah. Just done. Ah, she knows that Freerun's mana is like, uh, she has more, so she's trying to whittle her down. And that's why Freerun's not casting. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh. But that doesn't matter. Hmm. Oh, it has a barrier too? Okay. They get shit done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're hunting you right now. Okay. Hell yeah. Nah, don't split the party. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, yeah. What did you think I was yeah, going to yeah, do? Yeah, right. <laughs> You thought I was gonna run out there like right. some big dumb hero? I'm brave, like, but I'm not an idiot. Yeah, yeah, I am such a strong man that uh -huh. I can stop this. Yeah. Hmm? What are you talking about? My arm's fine. Ah. Whoa! She acted. Take quickly. off your clothes. Oh shit! Fuck! Okay, let's fight. Axe to axe. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Shit. No. It's that you're not f fucking trying to kill me immediately. You're letting me gather mana. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I like it. 
I need info on Freerin, yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Damn it. Linye. もう一つ。フリーレンはどこだ。この町から逃げましたよ。永平殺しは罪が重いらしい。極刑です。極刑。あの女がその程度の。She's <laughs> <laughs> Luke Skywalker yeah, yeah. and lightsaber. This is amazing. You fucked up. Oh no, the blood is already inside her or something. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that has been established for him, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hardly befitting a battle between mages. <laughs> yes, many times. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. She's got that little bit of a sense of urgency. Yeah. Fire mid sentence on this fucker. Right, right. Whoa. She fired off a shield and a kill spell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking her a bit more seriously now. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile. Jeez. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whoa! Oh! 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 I love this! Yes! Oh! And the music! Uh huh. The precision of her steps. The way she's doing this so casually. Oh my god! It's ugh. I love mage fights so yeah. much. The way her eyes just kind of follow around and keep uh -huh. track of it. Yeah. These are the dispassionate bitch. stares from both sides. Oh! He's getting pissy about help? another fight over here. Yeah, yeah, uh huh. Oh! Ha! Ah! 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 
Okay, that was above above the eye. Above the eye. Oh, she's copying mm -hmm. other yeah, okay. fighters' techniques. Perfect test in a lot of ways. Unlimited weapon works, yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Oh! Just being able to alternate your range and mm -hmm. battle effectiveness with yep. perfect technique. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's a great show. Y'all should watch it. Yeah. But hey... Don't forget, Eisen ended up smacking him the one time because he was genuinely scared. Yeah. So, you know. Oh, no. That, that's, that's bad. That's it. Yeah. And he grabs the, ho the foot. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Shit. He took a bleach hit right I was going to say. Yeah. Shouldered in. Uh-huh. Clavicle severed. That arm is useless. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get to see that time where he uh, he scared him. Mm -hmm. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just don't die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, struggler. This guy's got some kind of healing factor or something. Yeah. What's going on here? Although that would be cool if he was just started just using it with the, the left hand. Oh. <laughs> oh, she, she took got exception baited. to that. She got baited specifically. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because if yeah. she used someone yeah. else's right. techniques... He's like, no, nah, I've been he practicing would... against my master for forever, you know? Right, right. I know what he does. <laughs> nice. The, the pockmarks on the moon, like it was made by this kind of magic. Fuck, that's so awesome. Meanwhile... My masters would have cleaved right through me. And oh, you. Yeah, the, the cliff splitter, yeah. Yeah, that's that's the one that created the canyon. Yeah. Jesus. Over. Done. It's over. Shit. Left side of the chest. All right. <laughs> that was so satisfying. Oh my god. All right, we got okay. ourselves three different fights but all most importantly pretty much gone in the you know mm -hmm. this one episode. Obviously Aura and Freeran are not necessarily directly fighting. Yeah, it's a lot of posturing Aura's, still. Yeah, Aura's, you know, not um, directly the one spending uh, spells here. Um, Freeran is also trying to limit her spell usage so she doesn't end up expending too much mana because she doesn't right. know necessarily how strong Aura's gotten in the last 80 years. But she but, still did the mana inefficient thing because of the scolding that she got from Himmel about, like, just, you know, being too overkill. Yeah, being too overkill because, you know, it's not just about winning. It's about doing so in a way that you're going to be proud of later. Because clearly, Freeran, you do have the privilege of being able to win in an honorable way. That's right. how strong yeah. you are. Uh -huh. But she also noticed that that was very clearly the pendant 
of Grafgranat's son. Right. So I like to think it's something so, where maybe like she's thinking, okay, I'll I'll, I'll give I'll, that guy some closure. I'll give that guy some closure because I know what it's like to have lost someone. So yep. I'll yeah, uh huh. I won't just obliterate everything here. Respect for the dead in yeah. a way that is really cool because then uh, Aura is like or Aura is like, why would you mm -hmm. you know care about what he thought? he's not here anymore. And then she's like, oh, right, you guys don't respect the dead. So, yeah, now I can definitely kill you without mercy. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so while the pacing of the episode with regards to everything with Freeran was extremely slow, we Very were expositing slow. out the wazoo of, mm -hmm. of uh, yep. our like, abilities and stuff. Especially when it was already set up like multiple times beforehand that this fight would be a foregone conclusion. Right. I mean, it's, you know, I, that's the part I think is the, the tough part is that we see it that way, but the anime well, is no, no, trying no. to make it like it's no. Well, there's that, actually the, a, a way in the, which it's not. Right, because she's got her aura has her gimmick, but you know the I'm stronger than your boss. You know, saying super casually. You know, yes. the the framing Freerun at the end is the no. This is Freerun the Slayer coming to do yes. some slaying. Yes. You know, and unfortunately, that's now being used as a way to feel like the scales, if you will, are tipping back and forth. Right. But no, this is a foregone conclusion. We'll yep. end up seeing how it's won more mm -hmm. so than why it's won. Yeah, or whether it'll be won, you know? Yeah. yeah. So that's so, happening. But then the situation with uh, Lugner and uh, the the two Fern. apprentices. Yeah. Well, yeah. Lugner, L Lugner and, and, Fern and Fern specifically. Was really awesome. That was awesome. Because like, cause Lugner had this moment here where he showed that he really cares so much about Freerin here mm -hmm. that he, one, he didn't double tap Fern. Yep. Two, he then paused to kind of evaluate, so then wait, what's Freerin doing? Because he's so aware of how powerful that she is, mm -hmm. she is that he's like, obviously, you know, Fern has magic, sure, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Right. But like, I don't need to really take her that seriously. You know, mm -hmm. she, I, I wounded her right here. She's she's just a little she's girl. A she's weak fine. human. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love the classic antagonist's arrogance is mm -hmm. shown in a dripping amount getting the comeuppance yes. so quickly in that regard. Yeah, the, the fact that like Stark all those times is like, wait, he's not even, he's not even looking at me, right? Yeah. When, you know, uh, Stark clearly is, perfectly capable of, of smiting a demon if they're too close, you know, right? Mm -hmm. So that, like, it was it was done as a way to build up Lugner as being very powerful, but it's also the thing of the, yeah, no, but but you can still die, right? You can you know? still die, yeah. So, so that's, that's kind of dumb, you and know, so, to do that. Right, and so the fact then that we had a fun little mechanic introduced with Fern in that one of the things that makes her just a little bit better in some ways than... Other mages, according mm -hmm. to Freerun, not just necessarily like generally, but like her, is that she just seems to fire things off a little bit quicker. Yeah. And whether that's because of that like mortal urgency. Yeah, human tenacity. Human tenacity. Or yeah. maybe also just the way in which she's voraciously learning so quickly mm -hmm. because her master is Freerun. Right. Freerun puts her into these desperate situations, which then, you know, even if her mana or magical technique maybe isn't on, on the same level she's certainly getting combat experience much quicker than free right, right. she has a lot to catch up on but mm -hmm. you know it could very quickly become something where free just sort of like gotten a bit lazy you know right those those uh sleeping in days and all that stuff whereas Vern can't really afford to do that so right we saw her go basically ultra instinct here and mm -hmm. we saw also in the past Freerun teaching her, like, you know, put a shield up here and then a shield over here, then yep. angled attacks and stuff. Oh, yeah. And then as she just casually just kind of walks in between and around the blood weaving oh, yeah. little that was, lashing that attacks. That was so satisfying. And then casting shields where yeah. she's not even looking where they are. Uh -huh. And then, right. Oh, that, that, that was that so was cool. So like, good. There, there's something to be said for the scrappy fights. Yes. The scrappy fights are wonderful oh, and they can them. add a fantastic Blood energy. Blood everywhere. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Grunting. Gritting those just, teeth, oh. you know. Yeah. But, but there's a fight between mages. Mm -hmm. It's a unique opportunity to have two people kind of like 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 stand battles, you it's, know? Yeah, it's, I was going to say JoJo's, like, exactly. Like you just, just posing uh, at each other. Just posing at each other, right? Making minor bits of movements. Right. But their eyes are everything. It, exactly. But in this case... No, it's not as dramatic as JoJo's with the poses. Mm -hmm. It's the no, we're just here, but where those where those almost like dead, uncaring eyes point, you're like you're worried, right? Like like <laughs> shit's gonna happen in that general direction. I was really surprised Lugner didn't have a 
oh, whenever I've stabbed someone with a blood attack. Just pshht. Right. But I think the thing that I, I keep I keep mm -hmm. having to remind myself, and this is a really cool limitation that I'm yep. glad never got exposited. Yes. Is that when he uses his blood, he only moves the stuff that he hasn't hardened. So right. when he has to pierce, he has to harden. But at that point, he no longer manipulates yeah, it. Yeah. Well, and, and like... And he also, it doesn't seem like he can, um, he can, right, because once he hardens it, it's not just that he can't, like, move it or something, but he can't, like, fundamentally change the way that it right. is. Right, it's, like, it's, it's inert. It's yeah. now, it's now a blade. Right, he, he right. did it, he did his thing, and now, yeah, he's got a blade. And but, he can push it from the back end, you know. Yeah, like, but like, he's not gonna, like, he's, he's not, not gonna change it back into blood and then have it seep through her body and explode Right, out, he's not gonna know? puppeteer her, or, you know, some right, shit, right. right like, it, it's, it's the kind of stuff mm -hmm. where he has limits to his blood manipulation when he could have had effectively the tentacle powers are OP trope that right. we've almost created in a way. Oh yeah. That's the oh, he just he can just yep. do anything with it. But and no, the he limitations can't do are consistent even the though we were never told what the limitations were. Right. And so I, that's that's awesome. I, I love that. It's yep. fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then his idea of oh, he kind of thought in the same way that his master thinks. I'll pulled this into a mana, you know, kind of exhaustion attrition battle. Yep. And then he realizes, wait, that's not no, working. The rate of the flow of battle is changing in her direction quickly. Right. He could have won I'm, that attrition battle if he had been able to drag it out. But or if he like if he had wounded her more but yeah, when yeah. he was questioning her. But no, but he didn't. So right. because he was arrogant, mm -hmm. so he paid the cost. I But I, I love that that's yeah. something where he was like you made the connection and I hadn't thought of it, but yeah, he was fighting the way that his master taught him because right. he sees his master fight and it's the yeah, whittle down their mana and then you win, right? right? Because we're demons, we're we're ancient beings, so we'll have more mana because we've just had more time to develop it, whatever, right. et cetera, et cetera. You know. And then and then Linie sees uh, effectively her master at that point with uh, Lugner here fighting defensively and then she calls him selfish and i love that because what it is is she's weaker than lugner right. she knows she's not supposed to interfere with the fight but that doesn't mean that she wouldn't need help with stark so right. the fact that he's, he's not ending buck. her fight there yeah she said he's saying yeah you can just handle stark it's fine and she's like well yeah of course but like you could also just rinse that girl come over here and just you know, end the fight here immediately because this fucker keeps getting back up and it's yeah, really annoying. It's, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, you should be dead right now. You're you're a squishy I meat. I killed sir. you once. Yeah, I killed you twice. Okay, what the fuck? I yeah. <laughs> we're the demons. We're the ones that are supposed to be tough to kill. Right, right, right. What yeah. is going on here? Yep. And so Stark's thing of he's built differently. He gets back up. No, mm -hmm. no problem. Being tied to the oh, she doesn't put weight into her swings. It feels like you could translate that as a literal thing of just she doesn't swing hard enough. But obviously, we were seeing explosions. Yeah, and stuff. yeah. That, but mm -hmm. I, I also like it from an emotional standpoint in that her techniques are dead. They're right. not actually exactly. hers. It's it feels, tied to it the whole feels very thing. Very of, Ipo, um, uh, Daddy Date. You know, like no, nah, th those are those are some light fists. My oh, friend, uh, right, 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 right. But 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 not like that. Oh. in the way that I'm talking about is the emotional angle of someone not honoring the dead. Someone not actually mm. like like. Aura and Freyron were sure. having there of the, you're using their techniques, but you're not actually right, if embodying she's, what made them them when yeah, they use these techniques. You're going through the motions, but if you're dismissive of the of the emotional elements that are so integral to mortals, right? Right. Then yeah, it's not going to be the same. Right. So yeah, in in that respect, it 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 is the yes, he can catch it in his side like a, a battle axe, which is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. And just be fine. Because mm -hmm. yeah, I, I guess he's strong. But like right. then it's that, the, yeah, that was that was the most that was the biggest part of the episode where it's like eh, whatever. whatever. You know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like I, I would have expected maybe he would have done something like a some kind of like block with the haft a little bit, you know, to sort of like just just cushion cushion the blow. But I like the idea of the desperation in that since demons are so self-oriented right mm -hmm. that if you have a person that, that that's then like well i'm okay if i get wounded and potentially die from this that would be something that would be fundamentally not make sense to a demon mm -hmm. right they, they'd be like what like what? That, like i'm like, stronger than you you you're, right you're not guaranteed a hit off of this you're not guaranteed a hit off of this but also if you die then what's the point right mm -hmm. which so it's, it's a good point yeah. you know but Humans, Sometimes humans don't make sense. Humans are mad animals when it mm -hmm. comes to life or death situations, though. Yep. That's that's why you don't you don't fuck with the scared animal that's pushed into the corner. Exactly. Yeah. So the fact that Stark pulled this one off is 
is awesome. It's mm-hmm. badass. I like it the finishing move of the, the, the cliff sunderer. Oh, yeah, yeah. He put yeah. everything into it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, very, very cool mage fight. Um, very yes. excited, hopefully, for the uh, Freer and Aura fight to not get dragged out mm-hmm. as much as it was here. But I get that we needed to close things off with Lugner and Linnea, and I'm glad those fights were all done in yes. basically half an episode, which and felt very good. This could totally be something where... Freerin is like, okay, she's got a trick. Mm-hmm. Clearly, a lot of other people have fallen to this trick. So, you know, yeah, I'm going to beat her, but like, I'm still going to cover my bases. I'm not going to do the shit that Lugner did, where he was like super cocky and whatnot. And then as a mm-hmm. result of that, there's an opening. And then, hey, you know, strength isn't necessarily everything, right? Mm-hmm. You can get beaten just because you fucked up. I would love to also see a way in which Freerin is actively draining Aura's manor, mana in a way. Mm. And then maybe that's what the dispel magic was chosen as, in addition to the it's, honoring it's, of the it's dead. Poking thing. the the technique and being like, okay, right, right, but potentially being a thing of where it's the, okay, what if she can't turn it off? And it's the no, you're now actively trying to put sure. back these armors up. Oh, and I am suppressing that, so that puts us into a mana contest here, and it's a race to the bottom. So she's. Yeah, uh, forcing Aura to drain her mana at the I, same time mm-hmm. she drains hers, and as long as they just drain at the same rate, right. eventually Aura will reach zero. All the armors will drop or something. And I just had a thought. Yeah, yeah. If it's if it was done specifically because she's like, oh, that's Granat's son. Mm-hmm. It's the okay. I dispel magic there. Cool. Those dropped. Okay. Now I'm on the ground, level playing field, and now I can just turn on the laser and spin. You know, right? <laughs> like, like maybe. And and maybe. Aura's like, ah, what? You know, you fool, right? You used the inefficient, you know, technique. You can't keep this up. Yeah, no, I wasn't planning on it. You know, and then and then the next episode just starts with the okay, cool. <laughs> maybe I, not. I, I would love to see the armor if they she does do that. The armor uh, pieces basically like jumping in the way to shield or sure that especially given cool. that it's like a, a demon killing spell specifically it might not be very good against them. right like it's it's it less efficient great, you, know, it's, you know right it's still enough to destroy them but if you know that's enough for them to be able to jump in the way and protect aura or whatever yeah it's not gonna instantly yeah. just disintegrate all of them you know mm-hmm. in a straight line you know? yeah because um yes we don't know this is probably the other thing we don't know freeran's magical limits nope at all but they're kind of hinting at it with the whole scale thing. They are hinting at it, yeah. yeah. Which is, yeah, everyone has a certain amount of mana. Eventually you can run out. Yep, and she has it. actually been using her mana very inefficiently today because there's the, the dispel, but then there's also the, oh, I was held captive and I had to just use raw, raw mana, mana to That's just true. obliterate. That's true. That was you know, the drop. same day. Yeah. yeah. That's a good point. So. I didn't think about that. But all right, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out my Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play on Twitch. And if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time.